welcome back all right we're gonna do this again uh, came out the other day of course you've probably seen the video prior uh, we got a beautiful day today it's actually 61 degrees right now I've been in the low 20s a couple of couple of days and uh, I decided I want to come out and try some some of the deep water pockets again looks like somebody's actually in in my spot I don't know if they watch the video or not but I will try to sneak over there in a little bit just let them fish that for a little bit might try to target some other deep pockets but uh I'm gonna get out get in the jumbo gotta put the trolling motor on I think we got like a six six mile per hour wind right now beautiful beautiful day so I might try these two deep points right here in front of me before I move out but uh I'm gonna get in and give it a give it a whirl water's pretty clear like I said visibility is probably honestly actually clearer today I'm gonna say probably four foot so anyway so let's get in here let's see if we can catch something uh, I might try something a little different today throw something different but kind of stick sticking to the same tactics so finesse small baits so let's see what let's see what we can do <laughs> So I'm on the water right now. Like I said, I'm going to pitch around these two points and work my way over there where I caught those bass the other day. The water temp is 49 degrees. So I called it last few days when I came out earlier this week. I said the water temp is probably in the, in the 40s, mid 40s, but it's actually in the high 40s. I thought it would be colder, colder than what it is right now. So... Uh, Go look for some hard bottom. Hard bottom. Go look for the guts of this this lake. See if we can find a pocket of bass or something. And right now, this time of the year, you find them, they're all going to be together. Actually, got a, a Ned rig on right now. I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Got a little seismic grub on it. We're going to try it. See if it mimics a bait fish feeding on the bottom. A little tail swimming up while it's coming down. Got some action. Pretty cool color. I like to just chunk it around, check it out, and see. See if we can't get us a bite. Right now I'm in 12 foot, so it's kind of like a creek channel here. Alright guys. About an hour past. Been out here. No luck. No bite. The water temperature is actually colder over here, 47 degrees, sitting in 14 foot. I know probably the, the gut of it is probably about, um, probably 16, 17 right now. Broadcasting somewhere else, I got another line out, swim bait on one, I got the Ned Rig on this one. Thrown the Okashira screw head a little bit, but haven't had no luck with it. Alright guys, I think I got a crappie. Oh man, I'm telling you, the bite, no, it's a bass. It's just not a big one. The bite, I mean, it is the slow retrieve. I mean, you think you're going slower? I mean, slow it up ten times. I mean, I've, I'm going to try again and hopefully that retrieve is the retrieve that I need to do. But I'm leaving a bow on the line but at the same time I'm reeling, but I've got to constantly leave a bow on the line if that makes sense. So it's not quite on the bottom. I had to guess three, four foot off the bottom, maybe three foot. I'm going to try it again. And see if there's another one there and it was halfway into my retrieve so I just let it go all the way down okay and then I'm gonna retrieve I mean this is how slow I was retrieving it 
I felt one little tick and I just kind of kept on going, you know. I didn't slow up to let him to let him get to it. I just kind of kept on going just to, in a sense, force him to chase the bait. Alright guys, I'm over here in a different spot. Yeah. Try it before I get ready to get off because I got the Chiefs playing to, tonight. So, uh, I'll give it a whirl right over here. Oh, switch my bait. Something smaller. Quarter ounce. Cut that bait down even more. Let's see if I can uh, maybe something a little bit smaller, lighter line or lighter weight. I don't know. I'm trying to get a little bit more finesse here to see. Had one guys right here in this deep pocket. You just don't want to hold on. I was actually on a on a Ned rig there. I just left it. I just casted it out, and I just kind of been leaving it, and I just picked up on it, and I had a fish. Oh, that was my opportunity, guys, and I blew it. Guys, I got a good one. I know this is a good one. I can tell. I decided just to kind of drift. Oh man. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's good. This is worth the day right here. Oh, I'm telling you, cold water bass will bite. Hopefully, I don't lose him. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't have a scale. Oh, he's five easy. He's five. Come on. Oh my gosh. I knew he was going to come off. what I'm talking about right there I, when I hooked him I, I knew I didn't set a hook on him god dang it oh, I wish I had a net <laughs> that was a tank easy five pounds well this one ain't no monster I hooked him hopefully I don't lose him I'm both him <sighs> He hooked himself good. I might have found the pocket, guys. Check him out. It's no monster, but God, I cannot believe I missed that other one. Sickening. All right. I'm going to fish for another 30 minutes or so. I got to get to the house, so see if we can catch another one. Look at that, guys. Did I find a pocket of fish or what? Cold water crappie too. Wish I could have found this hole earlier today. And he's been caught several times. I tore up his mouth is. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Anyways. Man, still bummed up about about the, the big bass that I just lost earlier. Man, he's been caught a bunch of times. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to go ahead and let him go. Worth taking a picture, but that's a nice crappie. There he goes, back to the deep. Uh, well, I feel like this is a good spot where I'm at right now. I noticed uh, the water temp is 48 kind of hovering between 48 and 49. It's a deep 15 foot pocket right here, 15 to 16 behind me. I don't know what it is about this bank, but since I've been here, two o'clock, 
and it is 421 I need to be getting off I've had more bites right here in this spot uh, Oh, felt like another bite. Felt like a crappie bite. Uh, it's been tough. Been tough. Not gonna lie. There he is. There he is. Awesome. I think it's crappie. I think the crappie are gonna start biting since it, the sun is starting to go down. We got overcast. Oh no, that's a bass. It's hard to tell in cold water what what you're getting hooked up on. He's not. I knew he wouldn't hook good. Knew it. Oh. I think that's the way it's going to be. I mean, it's kind of hard to drive a thin hook like that in them, you know, especially that big one. It had all the leverage that it needed. And I just felt it like kind of crazy that he was jumping up on me like that. Anyways. 15 more minutes. <laughs> I said that 15 more minutes or 15 minutes ago. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can get another one. All right, guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it now. Uh, it's about that time. I need to start getting stuff up. It's 4:32, said I wanted to be loaded up and ready to go at 4:30. Uh, you see, the overcast came in. It's a little bit colder right now. Uh, like I said, I was sitting in 15 to 16, I kind of drifted into 14, and it's 49, see 48 and 49 degree water temp. It's kind of been fluctuating. And I got all my bites right over here. Most of them lost that big one. Um, yeah, that was a shame. But anyways, it is what it is. I enjoyed it and had fun. Uh, just fishing with small baits, guys, uh, and getting out there. I just got a tick on this pole right here. I just got it just hanging over right here. It's probably a crappie that hit it. Uh, just suspended right there on the bottom. But anyways, I'm uh, going to call it. Got to get to the game. Get to watching my game. Anyways, uh, like I said, give me a thumbs up, like, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for viewing, guys.